welcome to CBS Sports coverage of the NCAA Tournament. Today's game is between the UNC Asheville Bulldogs and the UCLA Bruins. And of course, Bill, our starting five. I'm really excited about the matchup the power forward spot. So they play well, their respective teams used to play well. Let's see what happens tonight. things get underway. Let's look at what each of these teams is going to be paying extra attention to. The Bruins get possession and away we go. Bailey handles the feed. Good job defensively. Jones the Bulldogs on offense. They have four guys on the perimeter and one down low. Great passing links to the big fella. Shots up. Off the mark. The Bruins now running a zone offense. The impact very similar to their man-to-man. -man. They find the open guy. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, thanks for joining us tonight. Gus Johnson here alongside Bill Raftery. Dump it inside. Shot clock shows 10. On the left side. He rejects it. He missed it. Takes the ball. Joe handles the pass. Jump shot. And he can't get the out. Breaks it off the rim. Offensive ball. Just being trapped. Great trap. They managed to keep the defender under control. Great defensive trap there. That's almost textbook, Gus. The Bruins in their four-round one motion. Dribble drive, the ability to understand when to put it on the deck and when to screen. In the post. Fires. Shots off. He makes the block. Bailey receives the pass. Loose ball saved. Careless mistake there. Jump shot. Square up on the catch. That is puppies in order. They have him right where they want him, Raph. The Bruins are now getting set up. Well, look at that block. Terrific. The Bruins running their zone offense. Very effective because of the power on the glass. It opens up that opportunity for tips. We're at the midway point in the first half. And, Coach, this one is shaping up to be a good one. Well, these two teams are showing us just how well they match up. Parity and all time high. We expect to see these type of games in the tournament. It's a shame that one of these clubs will be out when the final buzzer sounds. The Bruins now running the four around one. Must be alert on that defensive end because guys get pinned and they can step out and knock down the deep ball. Ah, he got it up and in. This guy is a complete player in the post. The big fella. He can beat him face up or back to the basket. He can step out a few feet and knock it down, Gus. It's just a tough, tough matchup. On the outside. Inside. A great trap initiated by the defense. We are at the one-minute mark. The Bruins set up into their four-around-one offense. Uh, if you have a good post man, he's very tough to defend. Everything centers on him. The Bruins running their zone offense. Now, this particular offense is extremely tough because they get into the high-low look. Shots off. Oh, physicality.
Dump it inside. running a zone offense. The impact very similar to their man-to-man. -man. They find the open guy. Entry pass in the paint. It's a call for the foul. Seniors are tough to come by these days. When you have a few of them on your roster, it really helps from a coaching standpoint. They know what's expected of them, and they're most likely to go with them. It's that one. Here we have a look at 
one of the sophomores for this team. He's still young, but the coach has him out there for a reason. He tends to make the right decisions out there, which means a little bit of time for him. A simple concept that applies to everyone, regardless of age or experience. Just over a minute and a half to go, and we have likely our second humongous—I was going to say humongous, but also monumental upset of this 2023 NCAA tournament. UNC Asheville currently up 15, or currently up 20 to eight, the 15 seed. Huge upset here. UCLA, a lot of people have as the champions. Splash! But maybe, just maybe, can UCLA make the comeback? I mean, look at this point in the paint difference. That's been the decider right now. 14 points to 2. UCLA only has 3 rebounds, 7 turnovers in the game. UCLA already electing to start fouling. I feel like that's kind of a bad decision at this point. Let the position play out. Oh, they almost came up and steal there, though. This one minute of basketball is going to take a long time, I bet. Let's see what happens. Will we see... Well, we already saw Vermont upset Marquette. Will we see UNC Asheville upset UCLA? A team that most people assumed would be penciled into the Sweet 16 to face Gonzaga. That maybe they won't even make it out of the first round here. Last year we saw St. Peter's the 15 seed upset Kentucky. A couple years ago we saw 15 seed Oral Roberts upset four. No, it was Ohio State. <laughs> Earlier in this tournament we saw Vermont. Oh, UNC Asheville for three doesn't connect. UCLA comes up with the rebound. They take a timeout. They probably should have shot that three there. They were open. All right, let's see what UCLA was able to draw out of the timeout. They need a three. Apparently a deep two. Oh, they take the three. Doesn't connect. Our UNC Asheville has not scored in the last two minutes, but it's not exactly like UCLA is trying to close the gap either. Drew Pember, UNC Asheville's best player, has not scored in this game yet. Knocks down the first one, giving him a 10-point lead. We are going to witness a monumental upset. And they knocked down the second one, too. Double UCLA's points. UCLA does not call a timeout. This is crazy. Who would have thought? They take the three. Doesn't connect. They get the offensive rebound, though. Gets rejected. 
UCLA calls off the dogs. They admit that they're going to lose this one. UNC Asheville, 15 over two seed upset. Huge upset. Might be a three second violation here in a second if he doesn't get out of the paint. <laughs> they turn the ball over, but it's too little, too late for UCLA here. Tiger Campbell rises, fires, he knocks it down, but it's a nine point game with five seconds to go. The Bulldogs pull off the monumental upset and will advance to the second round. Well, I think the better team won. It's heartbreaking for the other side, but that's the way it goes. Five and advance is the name of the game. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. Drew Pember winning player of the game. Four rebounds and a block. This is absolutely crazy. UCLA falls in the first round to UNC Asheville. And Bill Raftery. I'm Gus Johnson. Thanks for watching. Yep, and they will advance to play Northwestern for a spotless meet 16. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all later.